Let's examine our comb beam. In this area right here, we can see the little perforation that was made. Probably it's so small that its exit is not visible at all. Now here you see the small pit I created in the attempt to find the canal. You can see that while moving forward in epical direction I detected a small black spot again. It's the canal that becomes more visible as you go towards the apex. You can also realize that this is the starting point of the lesion that actually originates from both the distobuccal and the mesiobuccal canal as it's clearly visible since also the cortical bone is perforated. So it's absolutely mandatory to find the canal, otherwise the one day the patient will have to undergo the epicoectomy or the tooth extraction to solve the problem. Back to the wrong way, I took some measures and I said to myself, OK, I went up to this point and now it's a question of understanding which direction I have to take to go in search of the canal visible on the CBCT image. As cone beam resolution is 75 microns, the canal is not even small. Therefore, I'm sure that when I'll find it, the file will easily reach the apex. This can also be clearly seen on the frontal projection. Look how visible the canal is. It exists, uh, so we cannot say, ah, it's calcified, I will not be able to find it, or as an alternative, let's leave it uh, as it is and uh, let's see if uh, it will uh, heal on its own. Anyway, looking at the frontal projections, uh, it would seem I nearly got it. The canal was actually near where I was looking for it on the basis of my experience and intuition. I was aware that having gone towards the mesial surface while perforating, I had to look for the canal towards the distal surface. The trouble of this route is the fact that it bends in distopalatal direction, so the key to solving the problem is to go one millimeter closer to the distopalatal surface.